Okay, Steve back again, still here with the ATEM software control. We're going to have a look at media players now. Um, as you've seen, I've already got one or two bits of media already in the system. I've got the NLE uh, six second graphic and I've also got some lower thirds that we've been playing around with with things like downstream key. Um, but we're going to see the, the software way of manipulating those now. So on the palette, up, the, up here where you've got palettes, media players and capture, uh, you, just to show you, you won't actually use capture because this computer system, this Mac Mini, doesn't have a Blackmagic video capture system on it. So you can ignore capture generally. But we're going to go to media players now. And as you can see, it classes the Hyperdex and media players in the same group. So we're going to look at media players, that's MP1 to 4 in the system. We'll look at Hyperdex in a separate video shortly. Um, but in this particular case, you can see the four media players and you've got a pull down menu showing you what happens to be currently on each player so in this case I have a media clip you can have two clips in, case, in this current case we have one clip and clip two is empty we'll fill clip two later on so watch for that I've got another video coming up on that that's how you get graphics and videos from Photoshop and from the Mac through to the system but I'll come up with that later in this case we've got our Century 21, 2160 video that we've been using all along. That's in clip one. Clip one and clip two are uh, areas where you can store moving video. As sequences of still images sent through to the system, they become animations. Uh, you can't send audio with them, unfortunately. And you can store up to 360 frames in the system at any one time. Now, if you've got two clip stores, that means you can have, generally, you've got some playing around you can do with a slider elsewhere in the menu system. But on the whole, it's 180 frames each or one can be 200 and the next one's 360, or one can be 60 and the second one is 300. You can play with that sort of thing. But overall, between the two, you can store 360 frames. Those are the two moving ones. Clip 1 and Clip 2 are where you store moving video. Everything else from still 1 down to still 64 all the way down here, that's where you store still images. So they can be images without alpha channels, so you might not want to key them. They can be images with alpha channels, so you, so you can actually key them for things like downstream key. But they must all be at the same resolution as the rest of the work that we're doing. So the, the image sequences you put in clip 1 and clip 2, the still images in still 1 to still, still 64, must all be 3840 by 2160. In Photoshop, that means 3840 by 2160 at 72 dots per inch. 72 spots per inch is the standard dot density for video graphics. So stick with those stick with those parameters and you won't go wrong when producing graphics to come here. Okay, so as you can see, we've got still one, still two, still three, still four. Those are our lower thirds. Clip one is our video. So we'll say, okay, media player one is going to be clip one. I'm going to shuffle things around a bit now. So I'm going to play, med, play, say media player one is going to be one of our stills. So I'm going to say it's going to be that one. Media Player 2 will make our moving video, so we'll make that. And Media Player 3, we're going to switch around. We're going to put that one. Media Player 4 is going to be the second still. OK, so we've shuffled things around a bit. Not everything's going to be where expected, which is why I'm going to get really confused in a minute, but never mind. Um, the Media Players, where we've got our video, Clip 1, Here's where you can choose to loop it. You can set it to loop if you wish. So I'm going to leave that on. You can play. And you can see over there on MP2 we are now. Remember, we switched them around. So Media Player 2 now has our logo that's rolling. And I can pull Media Player 2 up on the control panel here. So there's MP2 on the program output. And there it is. OK. Um, MP1. Oh, I could also I can skip back between next clip and previous clip. So if I click that clip, I click these buttons here. Okay, that takes you to the head of the head of the clip. This takes you so that takes you backwards, head of the clip, end of the clip, that sort of thing. Generally, if, unlike the control panel down on down there, if you want to go to a different clip, you just choose a different clip from the menu. Pull down menu choose a different clip. It's normal sort of computer user interface type stuff. If you if you don't have to click a button to it, find a menu for it. And there you go. It's back again. So that's MP that's MP2 down here. I can click on MP1. And there you go. That's our first graphic. So I'm going to click between the two. 
MP1, MP2. And that's how pretty much how the media players work. Uh, obviously, you can't play still graphics, but you can load them in using those same pull-down menus. You can load in different things. So these stills currently have nothing in them. But these ones up here... Um, here we go. I've got, got some random one stored on still 41. I don't know which one it is, but there you go. Okay, so that's that's how you bring material. That's how you play material from the media players. How you choose which clips, uh, which stills go to which players, and that sort of thing. We'll cover how to bring material into the media players in a separate video.